Wow, you look phenomenal. <laughs> Did you get it on camera? Thank you look you, phenomenal. Thank you. I gave him a picture of you and I was like. Wait, I think about getting one. I know that's insane. People think that's insane as a, as me because I have a very shiksa nose for a Jew. Well, why would you get one if you have already had one? Ha, ha, ha. Um, I didn't I have one. I had a giant witch nose. Did you? And it was Can a I see? big old bump. And I, I'm sorry. I've, you look insanely good. I've actually good. cleared the internet. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. That'd be so funny if I like People had... do that. So I scrubbed the internet of my old nose. And you can only find my brand new one. So is this your old nose when you're holding Nathan 100? Maybe. I just want to say, looking at this, like, I never ever looked so at you. Front no, let me say it. Let me perfection. say it. Let me say it. I never looked at you and thought, what a schnoz. Thank you. I'll see you guys. Oh, are we rolling? We're rolling. We're going to start. Oh, great. It's breaking news. You don't want me to say it, do you? you absolutely. We can talk about it. I oh, don't my fucking God. Care. I love it. How stupid would it be stupid. if I was like, well, I just don't want anyone to know. Thank you. I don't get it. I don't get it. If you're going to like go go smaller, go home. Because like, I didn't. And that's the sign of a really good nose job, by the way. Just to be clear, <laughs> Esther, when I saw. I got a schnoz reduction. A sh wait, I just want to see this. When I saw you, I said, you look amazing. <laughs> was it, it was a boob job and lipo. But I was like, I don't Hair know. Extensions. I don't know what you did. Eyebrow lamination. Esther Steinberg Garden Schwartz. You yeah. take that. My legal name is Esther Steinberg Garden Schwartz for the bit, for the joke. Right. And then in reality. Which is like the Sarah Silverman joke. You yeah. might as well just hyphen it to yeah. or shorten it I to. I did it to be funny. To? Jew. There you go. I did it to be funny. Yeah. And now I find it so very inconvenient. Someone's like, what's your name? And I'm like, do you got a minute? Like, yeah. take a seat. Let's pop a squat. Like, here's right. my name. And now I'm just like, it's Esther Steinberg professionally. And then according to my health insurance and doctors, I'm Esther Garden Swords or if you want to laugh, it's Esther Steinberg Garden Swords. But I'm like, what, what the fuck did I just do to myself? Right. Does <sighs> Noah love that? He's very neutral. He's like, it's neutral. funny. It's funny. He doesn't you... want you to have his last name? No, he's like, great. You're Mrs. Garden Swartz, LOL. Esther Summer Garden Swartz. Not like it's hot. And then man. I'm like, some people will be like, and what was the reservation under? And I'm like, Esther Steinberg. And they're like, and where, how would you want me to bring you up? And I'm like, Esther Steinberg. So I like, I if think you I... had to choose one, Esther Steinberg is my name. <laughs> and. It, it's almost like an anonymous name to be like. But I think does Garden Schwartz sound less Jewish? Uh, it's a lateral move, and it so is it lateral. Matter. It is it's lateral. Like, it's interchangeable. Who fucking cares? You're right. It's it. But, you're right. It's lateral. But he's like whatever you want, and I'm just like, be more of a of a like pushy man. And he's I like, wonder I if because I always thought men would like want their woman to take their last name. Like you're mine. Because I think that's kind of hot. But then I would imagine once you're, like, married and have kids, you're just like, I don't give a fuck. He's such a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, he checks every box. Like, I, I feel like he's more feminist than I am sometimes. Like, I'll say something and he's like, well, no, it could be a woman doctor. And I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Right. Why did I Why did I gender that doctor or he when I don't know that? Like, he's like. He's like that. Yeah, he's yeah. He's a little he's, liberal bitch. He very, very much. He's and a he's, pussy ass snowflake libtard, huh? Uh, what? He's insanely woke, and he's. Uh, what does that mean? He insanely woke. It, it means he asks to people's me, pronouns before they meet. Um, no, but he checks himself. Like he knows that he's got. That's a nice in a man. Bias. He understands that there's. Not only is he like a man, he's also a tall man and a tall white with, man. With a huge dick. With a great dick <laughs> who's from privilege, who's educated in private school. Like he understands yeah. that the world doesn't revolve around him. That he has to like. Like, come on in with, like, you tell me how you want me to address you. Or, like, right. he's a You didn't really train good... him into that, though. No, he came that way. He also His does parents did that. The dishes and the laundry. His mom's, like... He does the dishes and the laundry? So what's wrong it. with him? Um, how long he's a helicopter husband. What the fuck does that mean? You can't cheat? No, <laughs> it means... Because there's a... We have a list of things that we're let, who we're allowed to cheat with, but... No, for real? Yeah. I'm so excited to hear all this. How long have you been married? I don't even know. Four years. Four years. That's not that long. Almost four. And In how long September. were you together before? 
like two and a half years and yeah at long two distance. years well i met him and he lived in new york i remember the whole story and i said so you're gonna move to la yeah and he was like no yeah and i was like yeah you are because we're in love right like if you love me and i love you then you're moving to fucking la and he was like i'm not and i just couldn't fathom that someone wouldn't like uproot their life for me so without him asking i was like i like packed my bags, sublet my apartment, and moved to Brooklyn to be with him. Moved into his house with four roommates in Bushwick, in the hood. You and was moved like, into- we're together, we're in love. That and is insane. Slowly, I started fights with all um, his roommates. Gay men, like Asian woman who was blind and Trans one-eyed. women. They were my favorite people on Amputees. earth. Amputees. But like, yeah, exactly. But I was like, um, I make, there was like a smoothie fight, like a, I make smoothies, but he wanted the blender, and then it was like roommate, World War roommate, roommates. I stole Did you an meet onion. him at a comedy club? I met him three times, and it didn't stick the first time. I like, quote unquote, saw through him. Is that what he says? Yes, that I like was introduced. Wow, he to really him. is like in touch with his like feminine like awareness. He's like, a, he's got high. You didn't really emotionally see. I met you, but you didn't see me. After. You didn't see me. And I didn't see him. I was like, oh, You're hi. You're not seeing me so tall. Oh, hi. And then I like walked away and was like, I'm busy. Okay. Is that at a comedy thing? It was at my show at the Kivitz Room. Okay. So you were- And little... I was filming for my dumb reality show, Funny Girls on Oxygen. Okay. So you were so busy. I, I was trying so hard to be this career woman. Right. It was like oozing out of my eyeballs. Why was he there? My manager is his manager. And she was like, I have a client that really wants to meet you. And I was like, Hi. He wanted to fuck you? He wanted to meet me. I know, but why would he want to meet you? Because he wanted to fuck me. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, take a number, gotta go, right. bye. Right. And he, it's, by the way, it's rare to find, I think, like a male comedian who's like looking for like a wife and kids. He wasn't. He He wants was, to meet a nice Jewish girl. He was the biggest fuck boy no. on the planet. No. I think he slept with all of Brooklyn and Manhattan. No. And a, and a little bit of Queens. He was the biggest fuck boy then? Yes. Wow, I guess I just know him as like a tamed animal. I don't know. I didn't know him. I was just like, oh, hi. Okay. Walked away. So, okay, that happens. Then I met him again at a comedy club, the like a gross comedy club. Broadway? The Lexington or something <laughs> in LA. Okay. And then I was with my friend, Nicole Amy Shriver, and she was like, I want to hang out with them. And I was like, we're at an open mic, like, let's go. And she was like, well, no, like, it was Noah and Clayton. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to leave. And she was like, I'm going to stay. And I'm like, Okay, then you find find your own ride. I was like shook that she would like right not she's like come, jumping ship come back with me. And yeah. She's like oh, I'm gonna smoke weed with. I'm like that's okay. So it sounds like Nicole. Okay. Yeah. Do your thing, girl. But what? Like I was so grossed out that she was like, I'm gonna hang with these guys. Right. And I was like, well, that's fun. It's fine. But whatever. You're not in the mood for it. Yeah. I was like, oh, gross. Okay. Whatever. I yeah. don't know what you want to do at a gross comedy club. But I'm gotta go. Right. I have more open mics to go to. Yeah, you know, I have to I'm get... a busy, busy girl. Seriously, I have to go film another set for Funny Women on Oxford. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do another cat fight <laughs> and like disguise it as women trying to be comedians. And then the third one was uh, at Stand Up New York. I was in a relationship. <sighs> I did Yamanika Saunders podcast with Chloe, and then. He was the other guest. We were two guests. Who were you dating at the time? I was with a guy named Matt Lieb, six foot six, half Jew. I was ready for you to like say like a name that we would all know. I was with this guy, um, Aziz Ansari. Yeah, I uh, know. Matt Lieb sounds like I've a name. I always wanted like. Oh, I know. A, he had to like. I have a thing for tall Jewish guys with TV credits. Who doesn't? I don't know, That's but like it was like one such type. a requirement for me. And like Matt almost was there, but his. He didn't have the TV credit. He he was t- the wrong half. And not I never judge people for like, what half are you? But for him, it really was. What do you mean the wrong half? Such an afterthought. Um, I don't know what Like that means. your mom is Jewish or your dad is Jewish. Oh, his dad was Jewish, you're saying. Yeah, but I don't care. If you if you are Feel. a Jew, I'm like, Le great. Jew. Your mom, dad you converted your grandmother, aunt, uncle. You if you just kind of feel the texture of Jew to me, I'm like, okay, I can, okay, we can, like, I like it. Right. I'm sexy. There's something. Even if you read Jewish, I'm like, great, yeah, that's fine. Right. So you're talking specifically when you date, you look for someone who reads Jewish. Yeah. And At the like, very least. I thought that was Matt. 
And then it turns out. And no. then it was kind of like, oh. yeah. And then I met. And then I met him for the first time. But the for third, your first time, I was like, oh my god, where have you? Who are? Wait, who are you? I've been meaning to meet. Yeah, yeah I was like, where did you even come from? Like, how have I never met you? Oh. And yeah. he was like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Right. So then I started talking about my boyfriend, my boyfriend, my boyfriend, my boyfriend. And he was like, he was like, how'd you mean? I was like, well, I was dating someone else. And then I met this guy. And then I left that guy for this guy. And he was like, oh, so you can be taken. And then I looked at him and I was like. Okay, fucking big dick energy. I guess, I guess that might be what it means. I don't know. I don't know. You said maybe? You basically said take me. Yeah, I was like, I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. I was like, I was just very My clit's so hard right now. Yeah, I was like, (laughs) okay. Okay. And then I went and did a gig in Rochester and mm-hmm. texted him was like, you want to come? You slut. To Rochester. And where's your boyfriend? In San Francisco. Okay, whatever. Being You live in New York? Being boring. I live in LA. I'm going to New York Got to it. do this podcast. Got then it. taking a train you to fly Rochester. fly to New York to do a podcast? It was like <laughs> I was going to go to New York City. Got it. Make a trip. Yeah. Make and a work I went trip. from like... A have a podcast. Casino. I mean, the real the real itinerary was like a casino in Minnesota to New York City, take a train to Rochester right. for the weekend. Got it. Un- understood. Understood. So Rochester. So you boring. invite Noah. I invite Noah, this guy I just met this so for the first fun. time. So fun. Do you feel the energy in the air? Yes. And I sent him a photo. Oh my God, you're really like <laughs> Well, first that's I don't energy. judge. I'm just excited. I feel like the story is I guess it's exciting, but because it's my story, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. So then I sent him a picture of me in a red bra. You sent him a picture of me in a red bra? It was like a red bralette. It wasn't like a bra. It was like a lace Before the show? This is just like after the podcast, before the Rochester invite. After the podcast, he was going to see his sister. I said, well, where does she live? He said, Upper West Side. I was like, tell me more. Mm -hmm. He's like, "She's she's a Torah teacher. She teaches Talmud in Westchester. And I was like... Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hot. Yeah. The clip was hard. <laughs> and so right, you're was... not even religious, really, right? No, I just came turned on by a guy with faith. Me too. I don't know why. It's just hot. I don't... I'm all about... Shabbat. Shabbat and spirituality and vibes and, like... Money. Kumbaya. I just want, like, No, I get sunshine. it. You don't have I'm... to explain to me. I'm a fellow I'm Jew. the girl in... <laughs> mean girls that's like i just want butterflies and sunshine and they're like does she go to the school right 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 exactly but you're like synagogue and kosher food yeah i just like want to be around it it's comforting it is comforting there's something there's a comfort food element to it yeah. okay so the sisters on the upper west side which turn ends on. up being a turn on yeah big time okay and um he i did it like i had like a show at gotham and i think i texted him later and was like i really oh sorry this is what happened I went on Instagram and liked four of his pictures in a row. Okay, crazy. Boom, 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 But boom. also just like whatever, fun. Like clockwork, zzz, zzz, I get a text from this number. I don't know. It's him. How does he have your number? He sifted through it because when someone wants to contact right. you, they will find a way. He found your number somehow. He somehow got it. And I actually had another your person manager. be like, it was from a mutual friend who happened to be like in the industry, but not connected. God, the to tension it. must have been there if he was like getting your number. Yeah. Okay. So then she's like, "Don't be a home wrecker to him," which I found out later. But whatever. Got it. So he messages you, and I was like, "He's like, I'm at the creek tonight, but my..." And I was like, "Oh, great! I'm at Gotham, like a comedy love story." Yeah. And um, I was like, "I really, really want weed." Okay. So he says, oh, well, I have this show, but maybe after. And I'm like, oh, I guess. Okay, whatever. His show gets canceled. And then Knight in Shining Armor shows up to Gotham with a big old bag of marijuana. And I was like, okay. Wow. And then I was like, let's go for a walk. It's four degrees. It's January in This New is York. pre-Rochester. Yeah. And then we go to a bowling. We go and get artichoke pizza per my request. I only wanted to eat half of it. We go to a bowling play or not a bowling billiards that yeah. I picked out, even though I don't really play. Yeah. And then I was like, but what do I do with my pizza? I only ate half of it and I want to eat the other half. And it says no food. So this man. What does, oh, he, do? What does he do? Very politely says to the guy at the front. He's like, I understand there's no food, but there's a half eaten piece of pizza. Do you mind hold, hanging on to it? And then on our way out, we can grab the half eaten piece of pizza and the guy was like yeah sure no problem and i was just like 
what the fuck? It's like, wow, I could like live in the world like this if I were with you. I feel like any guy would be like, fucking eat your pizza or throw it the fuck away, bitch. Like, figure it out. And I was like, but no, I'm complicated. I'm nuanced. Like, I want it for He's living in possibility. And he would just like, like politely asked and got what he asked for. And yes, on the way out. We got the pizza and I ate it and I and then we went back to his place and he said, "Do you want a glass of water? Do you want to spend the night? My roommate's not here." Did you kiss yet? No, he's like, "My roommate's not here. Oh, if you want," and okay. I was like, "You know what? I gotta go because I got I gotta run. Like I'm a busy I'm a busy girl." Thank God you left. And I left. I'm, and then because on, if you asked him to bring a bag of weed and then fucked him, I would have been like, "You never would have been married with kids." <laughs> like, so I thank I, God. I texted him on the way to Rochester and was like. I was think that the next night? He, the next day, I'm on a train, like a not an eight-hour train No ride. word since then. I don't think so. Okay. And I'm pretty sure he texted me, I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, so that was a text. Well, on the train ride. Okay. That's and then like I think pretty intense. I sent him a text of me in a red bra, lacy bralette. And then he texted me a picture of him, his body, like in boxers or something. What did it look like? And then I said, come to Rochester. Good? And this I like man, can't imagine a man's body looking good. Uh, it looked amazing. It he, did? He's his shoulders are like bigger than this room. He's he's a big, 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 strong bear. He's a big bear, yeah. and I remember being like a bear. Like I can only identify him in gay terms. I'm like <laughs> not an otter, mm-hmm. not a twin. <laughs> the man is a bear. Okay, so you're attracted to that because you're straight. Um, yeah. I'm, I, I just, just am always trying to, to understand the straight I was mind. Like, I was attracted to it because I was like, like you're like this big. It thing. was a it was a dichotomy. It was many things happening at once. I you know. have this like bad boy who's grabbing weed, who's telling jokes about pussy. I know, on stage. I know. And then he's like, then this... you have this guy who's like has this feminist side of him who like listen. One of I the think things I'm falling in love with Noah. One of the <laughs> things I liked about him was that when I was talking, he like looked in my eyes and listened, and I felt like ex boyfriend Matt was like on his phone, like oh huh, wait what. Oh, huh? I hate that. And it was such a bummer. And I was like, God, but he was so tall. And it was, it was so stupid. Okay, so you get the photo. And I'm like, okay. At this point, <laughs> I'm like texting everyone, including another ex-boyfriend, Andy Haynes, who knows. You dated Andy Haynes? Yes, who knows. For great guy. Great lesbian. Um, One of the best. No, he's just like a woman trapped in a man's body. He is, right? Yeah. Rosebud's kind of a man. Yeah, it's so perfect. And I love them together. Wait, how long did you date Andy? Nine months, and they were very important, formative nine months. And I think for him, it was like just a blurry nine months post a divorce. Got and it. For me, it was like a big relationship. Wow. Embarrassing. Fun. So to I texted Andy own. and was like, What do you think of this guy, Noah Garden Swartz? And he texted back, He's the biggest, baddest Jew. And I was like, Well, then, okay. Right. Let's proceed. Yeah. And then I'm, oh, the boyfriend calls and he's like, how are you? I'm like, oh, fine. Oh, yeah. my God. I completely forgot about your I boyfriend. boyfriend. And how I was long like, have you been with him? Like four months. Of okay. Him it's a ba- staring it's a, at his phone. It's a baby relationship. And lives in a breakfast nook in San Francisco. And I was like, oh, yeah, this guy is so thirsty. Like the guy from the podcast was so thirsty or something like that. That's so funny. <laughs> So now I'm like, get jealous? All my or... friends texting the picture. I'm like, what do you think of this guy? Should I cheat on him? I don't know. Right. And he was not even jealous. He was so busy on Three. his phone, putting, <laughs> lubing up his he phone and so sucking it like a dick. Phone. Oh my. I mean, fuck your phone. Right. Just fuck, fuck your, your phone. phone. Let your phone carry your baby. Shove your dick inside that tiny little phone pussy. That's so funny. I, I do a joke. <laughs> Where I talk about the old iPhone and I say it had that like wide set pussy charging port. <laughs> like an extra extra large diva cup. Yeah. And anyway, so I invite him to Rochester. Yeah. And he's like, okay, I got my ticket to come to Rochester tomorrow. And then I changed my mind and I was like, fuck, wait, I have a boyfriend. This is a bad idea. And my like guilt comes in. You should have just called the boyfriend. And I felt so guilty. Okay, so tell me what happens. So then I was like, actually, fuck that. And then I said, come to Rochester. So he bought a ticket, canceled the ticket, bought a ticket again. Got on a train to Rochester, showed up the day after. We stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. I got him a five-minute guest spot on my show. You fucked constantly, I'm assuming, when you got there? We waited for... I think got, he like did a, a guest spot. spot. He did a guest spot and watched me headline. I did like an hour of just material about Wegmans. I was like riffing. I was, I was, I was out of control, arrogant at the time. I just thought I was the 
the shit. Bees knees. Yeah. I would be really nervous doing an hour in front of someone. I, like, I was like, I'm going to destroy, bitch. Watch how it's done. Like, there was a confidence. I don't know where she went because I would love to just get a fraction of that's the confidence wild. I had at 26. But um, I'm like confident. I fucking, I, I, that, I fucked that crowd. <laughs> and then um, we went back to the hotel and he was like watching sports, rolling blunts that I wanted. I was like, let's smoke weed. So we're smoking weed. It's snowy. It's a Holiday Inn Express. And he's not making a goddamn move. Hmm. I think the next day we went to a butterfly museum or a toy museum. So no move. I'm sorry. Don't skip to the next day. I don't know. I Does don't think so. Does he sleep in bed with you? Wait. I don't remember. There, it's a little bit blurry. But yeah, I'll tell I'm sure you, it is. He came to Rochester. He did the guest spot. Sleep in the same room. I think so. And didn't touch me. I'm pretty sure. Got it. Okay. And I say we go to a toy museum in Rochester because I'm a dork. And I'm like, if I'm in a city, well, then I'll explore and see. <laughs> like, I I can't just, like, passively accept a city. I right. must conquer it. Sure. Why not? You're there. I'm cheesy. So I, mean, I, to... I wouldn't really call Rochester a city, but. You know, it. It, it is, though. It I, kind of, I mean, that's the fun of it. It's right. like we're in a weird city. Let's... Some people call this home. I'd rather explore a city like Rochester than. I don't know, Dallas, Texas or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I would explore Dallas. So I go to the toy museum with him mm-hmm. and I pay for the butterfly exhibit. And I was for like, the two of you. yeah, I was like, I got you. I paid for you because I'm like, I just wanted to show him that I'm boss a little bit. Uh-huh. I kind of like that a little kind of confused by it a little kind of I like just it. like totally confusing. I got this. I'm paying for it. You're not my keeper. You're not my boyfriend you're not my date you're just also, my he already you're paid. my weekend companion you're my weekend toy in rochester but I'm also bored. he paid for the ticket up yeah because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like i'm not his sugar daddy either well yeah he's also not a hooker yeah well yeah i just didn't know right. i was like this is gonna be interesting okay so you get the butterfly exhibit for two and we go into the butterfly exhibit and that was our first kiss inside the butterfly exhibit Aww. and it was really sweet and That's... i was like me want more and then the night, that night i was like there's something so cringy about that sorry me when, want more i was like i got one little kiss in a butterfly exhibit and i was just like sploosh yeah like we cannot end there right so that night i think after i did another like five hours of comedy in front of this that poor he had man, to watch again yeah. oh you god i straddled him and was and i asked him are you gonna fuck me or what and then we had sex. Wow, well, what a story. And has it been hot and heavy ever since? I, yeah. And I called his, I called the boyfriend when I got back. And I was like, and we're done. But I don't, I think cheating is okay if you realize you're not meant to be with that person, then you end things. It's okay to cheat as long as you never, you don't play it off like, what, baby? I didn't do anything. Like, cheat and move on. <laughs> break up. Cheat and break up. Oh, and I called a therapist before I had sex. And I call my therapist. You don't therapist. have to absolve yourself to I me. I called my therapist yeah. and was like, "But I'm I, I do see what you're saying. for this guy, and I don't like. I don't want to cheat on Matt." Yeah, you. I mean, alternatively, and I, I hear you. You could have called Matt and said, "Look, I know you're in San Francisco. I just, I, I can't he, keep going." He was just. I felt obviously. I felt like I was invisible to him. Right. I'm his girlfriend. Yet every time we talk, it's like, "Well, I gotta go." Or I'm Where on is he phone. going? I don't know. To open mics on his bicycle. Jesus. Okay. And I was unhappy. This man came and made me happy. I think there's like a dumb Drake quote of like, watch out when someone else makes your girl smile or some stupid thing. But it's like, it was very clearly like a girl that was missing a lot from her relationship. And a man came in and fucking showed up for me, listened to my dumb jokes, showed me what a real man looks like it listens talks advocates for your half-eaten pizza crust i mean i'm like blown away by this it sounds like you have such a fulfilling like love story with him yeah and then at two years i was like so we're gonna get married and he said no uh what? I'm not, he said he wasn't ready okay. and i was like what must i need to do to get a motherfucking diamond out of this grown-ass man yeah So he's like, I wanted to move back to L.A. Mm -hmm. He wanted to stay in New York. And so he said, let's do that. And then let's be open. You want marriage? How about we see other people? 
I was like heartbroken, pissed. Yeah. And then a month, um, couple months, I was like, you know what? Yeah, that sounds great. I'll go to LA. You stay in New York and we'll be in an open relationship. Yeah, I'll show you. I met a guy who had six baby mamas. He was a professional musician. Mm-hmm. Do we, might we all know the name? No, but he wrote a lot of songs that okay. we've all heard of. Okay. Including Enrique Iglesias, because tonight I'm fucking you. <laughs> so he wrote that song and his vocals are in it. Okay. And so he, he was just- You very, meet a guy. I met a guy. At a, he was playing music and he like wowed me. He had an amazing voice. He played every instrument. He was like, reminded me of Prince, like a modern day Prince. Like I met a musical little genius. Mm-hmm. And we got it on. And Noah was busy on Bumble dates. Right. And I was like, are you being honest with these people? Like, I read Ethical Slut. I read the books. And I was like, let's just be as, as honest as possible about with what's the happening. You're seeing. Yeah. If we're doing it, let's be honest. Yeah. Instead of concealing that you have a relationship yourself. Yeah. And so, so I was So is that like, what you told, told I was Prince? Like, yeah. I told him I'm I have a boyfriend and you're my side piece. And he was so very, very comfortable with that. <laughs> so almost jarring how very comfy he felt as my side piece. Yeah. Right. It was probably ideal for him. He was experienced in polyamory and all things hard clits confusing for boomers to digest you know like yeah. all all things right. partnership right. he was like yeah that's fine right and i was like oh okay okay and then noah's going on bumble dates being very honest i have a girlfriend this no is one's not gonna fuck him he did get laid but it was all kind of sad a different kind of fuck though i mean women aren't as interested in men in open I relationships i think it's sad Hey, I have a girlfriend, but we're open. She has a side piece. Would you be interested in having sex with me? It's not going to go anywhere. He should just lie and say he's single <sighs> and break hearts. <sighs> okay. I don't know what the fuck the game plan is for a guy. And, and but I, I at the time of my life. They have it so hard. And then he, like, showed up to L.A. with a ring. Or showed up to L.A. talking about a ring. Wait, so were you telling him about? Everything. And you said, like, did you tell him about the sex? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I told him everything. You wanted to be open? Here we go. This guy's dick. Blah, 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 blah. And he didn't mind? He was angry and jealous. And that's what got me. My motherfucking diamond. (laughs) (laughs) So he comes and proposes. Yes. Yes. He starts telling me he wants to marry me. Let's plan the wedding. As soon as you get fucked by the musician. Correct. Oh, my God. And so now that you're together. And so I picked out the ring, and then he's like, okay, I'll get you that ring. And then he got me that ring, and then we got married, and we got pregnant on our wedding night. On your wedding night? Like one day before. Oh, my God. Was that always the plan? No, no. We were caught up in the moment. It was such a fluke. It was such a fluke. It was like, don't, like, the wedding, like, oh, my God, we're getting married. Let's fuck without, without you pulling out. And then he didn't pull out. And then we got, I was like, what? Wow. Sex. Sex Wrap works it up. sometimes. Yeah, sex does work. Sex works. It was like all this time you've been pulling out. And we've been like, tee And then it's like one time he doesn't pull out. And we're like, fucked for the rest of our lives. Ruined. And how has it been parenting with the man of your dreams? Great. He's he's a 50-50 partner. So that's good. I mean, I'm sorry? 50-50 partner. He gives you 50%? He or puts you in, guys are equal. He does fifty percent of the parenting, and I do fifty percent of the. Got parenting. it. Not like he gives you. I I thought you meant like he's the fifty percent dad. No, the guy is giving a hundred and ten percent. This guy, he's the best. Right. Yeah. Wow. And so you mentioned at the start, you have a cheat list. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Can you walk me through that? I want to fuck like a couple of people, and if I are these a, people you know, celebrities, mm, celebrities, <laughs> and then there's a bit of a joke. We're like, okay, no one wants to fuck like Jewelry, Dreyfus, Rihanna. There's a couple other. I'm just like, sure, whatever, whatever. If there's someone famous that is like really sexy, like it's kind of a yes. But I'm sorry, Noah's not going to meet. Sure. But in Rihanna. his world, if the opportunity arises, I'm comfortable. Okay. 100%. If he comes up to me and he was like, I was at a party, Jewelry, Dreyfus, and I 
had sex, I am not mad. I am happy for him. Okay, fine. I, I think this game would be more interesting if you had like actual so real if, life I told players. Him if he fucks, I told him a while ago, if he just cheats on me with a chick, like a random woman, then I will fuck his heroes. Like John Elway or whatever. That's funny. And so he's like, if she ruins my, our future, he, she'll ruin my past. And oh, I'm like, that's cute. Can I? That's really sweet. I guess. No, I know. <laughs> and then it's like, uh, I'm allowed to fuck like Drake, Adam Driver. I think I have like uh, Adrian Brody. I don't know. As they come. Also, me and him both are Rihanna. I think Miley Cyrus. Oh, you're is not on biased. No, but I would totally. If Rihanna was like, "Do you want to have sex with me?" Answer, I'd be like. A million percent. Everyone wants to fuck Rihanna. She's very sexy. Those lips, those eyes. She is sexy. Let's talk about my nose. I think it's amazing. I think that's the sign of a great nose job is that when I saw you, I thought I didn't know what was different. I just knew that you looked great. So I did a documentary that I'm currently filming about the whole process because I'm in my head. I'm a Jewish woman who's proud to be Jewish and I'm like out and proud about Judaism. Right. And I think it's cool when you're just like, I'm a Jew, deal with it. Yeah. However, what does it look like when I take a Jewish nose and f and change it? I just felt like I was kind of giving the message of, mm. of like, I don't know, what happens when you strain your hair every morning? You know, like, just joking. Um, <laughs> I just didn't want to be perceived as like <laughs> this, like jerk is not being proud of her religion or ethnicity or or body positivity was is something I like love I'm like yes body positivity but isn't body couldn't you argue that you know by if there's something you can do that would make would make you love your body more that would make you more confident isn't that body positivity I don't know I've dug really 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 deep I'm like a heady overthinker I think sometimes people get plastic surgery and they're like I want my tits to be big and bouncy and then they get big and bouncy yeah. and I was just like overthinking overthinking what do I do blah 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 and there were friends that were like you cannot change your nose little Jewish girls everywhere will cry you're a bad person and I was like why would they cry I don't know I don't know but I don't want that so I dug really deep and have been in therapy and the answer is I'm going to fucking do whatever I want to fucking do with my dumb body. We're on this planet once. I'm, yeah. I mean, we're, I'm in this body once. Yeah, you might be coming back in a different body. Sure. And then I will, I will get a nose job in that body. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I can't help that I like want to snatch nose. Like in my deepest soul desire, yeah, I want to snatch Sometimes you just nose. want a hard clit and a snatch nose. And girly, I got it. And I'm proud of myself because for about 10 years, I said, don't do it, Esther, because what would people think? Like, you're not being body positive or people, really? pe I've what never are people going to say? Once. I don't know. I'm in They're going to say you look fucking awesome. Thank you. Some people don't know what to say. And they're like, but I liked your old nose. I was like, my old nose was great. It was like a minivan. Very, very good. But I wanted a little tiny convertible. Hey, roll the top down. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Where can people find you? Well, I have, a, I have a special on Amazon called Burning, Burning Bush. Bush. It's so good. Which New York I've, Times loved it as well. Yes, I filmed in the pandemic and in front of cars. And then I'm on Instagram. It's so funny. I, to I even forgot that part of it. Yeah. I'm in front of cars with like, I don't know. Where in, is it? In a parking Amazon? lot. It's on Amazon Prime. It's yeah. everywhere, but it's free on Amazon. So. Yeah. Okay. And then I have Hebrew School Dropouts, my fun, kind of more raunchy album, like single Esther album. And oh, then shit. there's I mean... like single Esther and then there's like married and like postpartum Esther. And now I'm working on the brand new Esther, which is like m kind of MILF vibes. Oh, good. Or, like, I love that for you. Yeah. Like I'm back to me. But I have I like afterthought. I just happen to have children. But like. It's about me. That's per. I, that's to fun. Me. That's yeah, a yeah, very yeah. Fun progression. <laughs> yeah, I was like a dumpy postpartum mess, and uh, I'm all done having children. Well, I can't wait to see the new. And then uh, I'm on Instagram, Esther Steinberg, and I'm really trying to be more like show more of myself on Instagram. Okay. Well, I'll hold you to it. I hate Instagram. It's terrible. But it's it's one way that I can I don't know talk to people and be myself. I guess. That's, yeah, I hate social media, but it's the one place where I can really be real. 
I well, I'm, no, I'm trying because right no, now, because right now, I just post like pictures of my kids, and then and then it's like, is that what you want, people? And then it's like, do you want butt pictures? I don't know. I, I don't really know what anyone. But you're wants. a mom now. Yeah. So what? Butt pictures with like so a this bottle, is kind of like a new material. My asshole. I don't know. What do you want? I know. I know. Um, you guys follow Esther. Yeah, I I'm on I'm a super ally. And the reason I you're say an, that I is was, because... This was me. I was about to say thank you so much, but now you're telling me you're an ally. I think there's <laughs> enough hatred in the world that I can align myself and say, I'm not just an ally. I'm a super ally. I'm super into being an ally. I will die on the fucking rainbow flag ally. And I enough Are people... Are you just saying this because I'm gay no, right no, now? No, 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 no. We get in a huge no. fight. My, yeah. I have plenty, plenty, plenty well, what of makes you think of this right now? My, my older sister is a lesbian. My cousin's trans. My... My f- best friend's gay. I went to a gay college, NYU. I, I like, have That's always... right. We both went to Tish. Yes. I've been bleeding rainbow colors. It makes me feel comfortable to be in a, a queer environment. Yeah. And I just got back from Palm Springs. And it's interesting because I... Yeah, there's a lot of hatred in the world. And we can, like, divide and be like, these are gay people. These are straight people. But it's, like, occasionally straight people do find themselves a super ally and i want more people to be like you can't just win anti-semitism without people being non-jews that support jews like you can't just win the whole world over with queer rights without people straight people holding up the flags also i'm just a cheerleader hey i I, wherever i'm wherever that's how i feel i'm just an ally (laughs) I don't do any of that gay stuff. No, no I, <laughs> I feel that I totally, I get, I appreciate it. I mean, we, the Colbertos, thank you. I can barely handle straight people. We can't handle straight people. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys.